In this video, we're going to look at how to express numbers in standard form. So, how to do questions like these two. To recap, remember that standard form looks like this, where you have a front number that has to be between 1 and 10, and a power that has to be a whole number. So, things like 1 times 10 to the power of negative 13, or 4.5 times 10 to the power of 4. In this first example, we need to express 0.0000384 in standard form. So, looking at this number, we know that we want to end up with 3.84 times 10 to the power of something. Because remember, the front number has to be between 1 and 10. Or in other words, we always need only one digit behind the decimal point. To find out what the power will be, we need to take our original number and count how many places the decimal point needs to move, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. And this tells us that our power is going to be 5. To figure out whether that's a positive or a negative 5 though, we need to look at our original number and see whether it's small or big. Because 0 0.0000384 is smaller than 3.84, that tells us that our power is going to have to be negative, because negative powers make things smaller. So our overall answer is 3.84 times 10 to the power of negative 5. In this next question, we're being asked to express 46,700 in standard form. So again, the first step is to think about what the front number is going to need to be, which this time would be 4.67. Next, we take 46,700, write in the point 0 at the end so that we can work with the decimal point, and then count how many places the decimal point will have to move to get to 4.67. So, one, two, three, four places. So, we now know that our standard form is going to be 4.67 times 10 to the power of either positive 4 or negative 4. And as 46,700 is bigger than 4.67, it's going to have to be the positive 4. So, our final answer is 4.67 times 10 to the power of positive 4. Let's have a quick go at two more before we finish. In this first one, we need to convert 0 0.0029. So we write out 2.9 as our front number, and then using little arrows, we can see that the decimal place needs to move 1, 2, 3 places. So we can add times 10 to the power of 3. Because 0 0.0029 is smaller than 2.9 though, we know that it will need to be a negative 3. So our answer is 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3. For this last one, we're trying to convert 113.5 in a standard form. So this time we write out 1.135 and count that the decimal place will have to move 1, 2 places to the left. So we can add times 10 to the power of 2. And as 113.5 is bigger than 1.135, we can keep it as a positive 2. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So I hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching.